What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Simply P back again with another daily dose. Now, I know, I know, I know, it's been a minute once again. A lot has changed with me. I done bought investment properties, moved. I done dang had surgery on my knee. And I'm out for 46 months. So, a lot has changed. And the biggest thing is wow, coronavirus. It's been absolutely insane everywhere. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, a lot of people that I'm around in the hedge fund world and the the private equity world and just uh, the private wealth world has never seen anything like this. So this is new territory for all of us. But I've been getting so many people reach out to me just about different things. How can they take advantage? What should they be doing with their portfolios? Just a lot of other questions. So I just thought that I wanted to make a video to address a lot of different things and just give you some ideas and things that you should think about during this time, this crazy, crazy time. In any time of crisis, there's always huge opportunities. If you have cash, if you want, if there was ever a time that you wanted to get into the stock market, the time is upon us seriously you don't get buying opportunities like this very often in our lifetimes i mean 2008 and 9. a lot of us people my age and the early 30s wasn't didn't have money to truly invest in 08 and 09. we got a chance to get great companies on big time sale because of the coronavirus man it has struck a lot of fear in people and in turn, it has created, you know, really good companies have taken a hit. I mean, the market is a bloodbath right now. It's been just down, 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 very volatile. So this is a great opportunity to get a lot of stocks. Now, what I say is, first and foremost, this is not any advice to anybody. What I want to do is just give kind of like uh, fundamentals of what you can do. Always, you must do your own research. You got to really evaluate your own situation before you actually, you know, dive into these things. So make your decision based on actual numbers. Have your own process and then you make your decision upon that. Don't just buy because the price is low. Okay. You got to make sure you're buying fundamentally sound companies and you're going from just, you know, doing business with these companies like uh, I got Apple products to now being an equity owner. So it's a whole different mindset. There are a couple industries that have been hit really, really hard during this time and that will be great buying opportunities. One, oil. Oil has just been hammered lately. I mean, lowest prices since the early 80s or since the Gulf War, like since for as far as we can remember back in our lifetime, the prices have been extremely low. Now, due to a couple things, um, just the coronavirus in general, but then <clears throat> the conflict between Russia and some of the Middle East countries has also driven the price down. So this is a good time to get oil. Now, when I think about getting companies, I always think about things that are kind of like necessities to life. We... The world needs fossil fuel. It needs oil to keep going. I mean, we use it for gasoline, for cars, uh, for planes. So we need oil right now. It's not going away anytime soon. So it will rebound. Now, when will it come back? I don't know. It may be year two, maybe three. So this is not just a six months flip, a trade in and out. This is more of a long term thing. You will make your money back on oil. Uh, WTI crude, Marathon, Exxon, um, USO is another ticker symbol. Another great opportunity industry to look into is the airlines. Man, the airlines, you got Delta down. At the beginning of February, it was about uh, $59. Now it's $22 or $21. You got United, uh, American, uh, JetBlue. All of these companies are are down 50, 60, almost 70%. They have been blamed. Now, the airline industry has been blamed, unfortunately, for, you know, the spread of the coronavirus. Now, it's not the airlines spreading it. It's the people traveling on the airlines using that as a vessel. 
But nevertheless, they have taken the brunt of it because now people have locked down their borders. Uh, people are not flying. And so you got companies like Delta operating at 30 percent of their capacity. Now, one thing about the airlines is they burn through cash. And if their planes are not in the air, they're not making money. They got a lot of overhead costs, fixed costs that they must pay. But I'm going to tell you one thing. The government will bail the airlines out. They are not going to let them go under. You think about uh, the car industry in 07, 08. It's the exact same thing. It's very, very similar. They will not let them go under. So they will get a bailout. Even with the bailout, it's not a uh, promise that all the companies are make it. But my favorite is Delta. I, I fly Delta a lot and I just kind of really like their balance sheet. Now, when you're looking at these companies, you got to look at the company's balance sheet. You got to look at the fundamentals of the company and make sure it's a solid company. Most of these are very solid companies. With that being said, if you're able to buy anything right now that's on big time sale and hold it for 10 years, you will make a lot of money. That's very long term. What I'm speaking about is two, three, four years, you'll make your money, not no five or six months. That That's, you know, basically trading, day trading, and, and that's not what I am. I'm an investor, and so this is who I'm speaking to. Uh, another uh, set of companies to look into is companies that are, you know, becoming uh, a part of the transition that's happening in society, like Zoom. Zoom is killing it right now. You think about where we're going and the amount of teachers and business people that have to do meetings and different things through Zoom. Like I've been on eight Zoom meetings already this week. My wife is admin in a, a school district and she's been on three or four Zoom meetings per day. So those kind of companies is what society is going towards. Another industry that looks really good and you know that will eventually come back is the, the hotel industry. Now, some of them companies will go under. So you really got to look at what you buy. But I look at uh, stocks like MGM. Wow. Down 50%. I love the MGM. Every time I go to, to Vegas, I'm staying at the MGM. I also like to buy companies that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get or that the price is a little bit too high for me. Like Amazon, like Apple. Apple's uh, traded in the 230s. It, it was trading as high as in the 300s. Those are good companies. Them are companies that are basically has infused itself in society and we just cannot live without it, it seems like. So... You know, Apple, uh, Amazon, Microsoft, another great company to get if you can get into. So these are also all great companies. You you look at other good companies that you may like that uh, the price have, may have been too high previously, but that you would like to get into. This is a good time. So those are just a few of my suggestions, man. Different things to get into, to think about. What I really want to tell you is, is there's great opportunity for the people who've been on the sidelines to get in the game. You can really get in the game. Warren Buffett always says, the time when you don't want to be greedy is when everybody else is. But the time when you want to be really greedy is when everybody else is not and being like standoffish. So everybody is sell, sell, selling. You see the market is going up, down, up, down, up, down. This is the time for you to get in. Now, here's a warning to you. I always want to say this. If you're getting in now, the stock market is very volatile. Volatile means it's going up, down, up, down, up, down. So you have to be able to stomach that volatility. The VIX is what measures the, the volatility of the market. It's at an all-time high. That's why you see one day to be down 2,000. Another day the Dow is up 1,000. Another question you want to ask yourself is, if you buy a company now, are you willing to have that stock price go down another four or five, maybe 10% before it starts turning back up? That's a true question you have to ask yourself because it's hard for people to call the bottom. Not Nobody knows the future, not even the best professionals. Nobody can call the bottom. So you got to be willing to say like, okay, maybe this stock will go down a little bit more before it turns back up. That's the risk I'm willing to take. There's always risk and reward to everything. Next thing you must ask yourself, what is my time horizon? You got to be realistic with your time horizon. Are you looking to, to make quick money six to eight months? It's not that easy. This may be a longer play at two, three, five years. 
10 years, if you buy anything, it'll go up, okay? But some of these have a longer place, so really think about your time horizon. Do your research. Do your own research. So get a, a buying list of companies and really look into them. Look into the management. Look into the different things. Look into the fundamentals of the company, the balance sheets, the P&L, the, the, the cash. The companies that have cash right now, they are going to thrive. Okay, quick recap of everything I talked about and just to send you off on your way nice and smooth. This, number one, is a great opportunity for you to buy. Things that I'm looking at from my own personal portfolio. Doesn't have to be yours. I just want to show you with you what I'm looking at from my portfolio. I'm keeping my eye on the airlines. Companies like Delta, uh, American. I'm looking at oil, WTI crude, Marathon, Exxon uh, Mobil, USO, ticker symbol. Also, I've been looking at the, the financials. Bank of America, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo. These also, like Wells Fargo, has great dividends. I'm looking at other things like Royal Caribbean, the cruise liners. Hit very hard once again, but it will come back. People will vacation. People love taking cruises. I love taking cruises. MGM. I stay at that hotel every time I go to the Vegas. Getting crumbled. Something on my on my list. I'm looking at great companies. Microsoft, Apple, the big companies that previously were priced very high. Now they're on discount. I might be able to sneak in there. Give me a couple of those companies. Those are the main things I'm looking at. Now I know people have said Boeing. I'm staying away from Boeing. I know the government will bail them out because they're the number one aircraft maker in the world. They can't let them go under. They will not. And they do a lot of business with the defense sector. They're not going under. Other companies I'm looking at are Zoom, Walmart. These companies have, have, have done great despite this uh, coronavirus stuff. They've done great. Now, last thing I want to say is maybe the time is not quite yet to buy. And what I mean, maybe don't buy right today. That's what I say. That's what I'm looking at. I bought a few things, but I said for the bulk of my spending, I'm on the way because I want to see the true impact, the economic impact of the coronavirus. We only been out of school and out of work a couple of days. But what happens when people are out of work for a week or two or three or four? Then what really happens? Then you'll kind of see that bottom forming. That's my opinion. That's not what everybody thinks, but that's my opinion from what I've, the research that I've done and what I've been watching. Those are my thoughts, man. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I would love to interact with you, talk to you, give you my opinion. I always say you got to do your own research. This is not advice for anybody. This is what I am doing with my own portfolio and my own thought process as I go through these things. Um, it's your boy, Simply P. All I can ever be is me. And until next time, peace.